Welcome back to another episode of North to Prem. In this episode, we are playing uh, Hemel Hempstead away in the FA Trophy, and then we also have another away fixture, this time to South Shields in National League North. Since the last time we left, uh, which was the Gloucester game, we've had two National League North uh, league fixtures. We were uh, away to Blythe, where we did only manage to get a 0-0 draw, which does mean our winning run has unfortunately come to an end. But the unbeaten run does continue, because we did follow that up with a really impressive 4-1 uh, win at home to Farsley Celtic. Farsley are down in 21st, Blythe were uh, in 17th, so I guess those are not too bad results at all, four points from those two games. But we do come into this against some better opposition. Hemel Hempstead are currently fourth in National League South, uh, and South Shields are currently ninth in National League North. We are just f uh, seven points away from seventh place, so really getting a win uh, would, would look really good to, to get us even further closer to those playoff places where we want to be. The board are really happy anyway with what we're doing. Um, obviously, the happy across pretty much all the competitions, as you can see. In terms of transfer business, only one uh, has come into the club since you last left us. Uh, Dan Mooney has did did indeed join us um, and decided to reject the offers from the National League South clubs. Uh, he made his debut in the Varsity Celtic game, coming on as a half-time substitute, and did actually manage to get an assist in that game. So he looks really good. He's got a deal uh, till the end of the season on £275 a week. No extension or anything, uh, potential extension in his contract. Would have been good to get that in, but he, he, did, he really didn't want it. Um, so uh, we do just tie him down to the uh, the rest of the year. He's someone who, I think, regardless of whether we go up or not, we would be looking at probably uh, renewing his contract if and when he can keep his performances. Jordan Nicholson will probably keep his place for now. He has obviously been doing okay since we've got him in, but I think it is probably just a matter of time until Dan Mooney replaces him. He's six years as junior, and he's probably a little bit better with, with much bigger potential as well. Uh, Caleb Chukwemeka does come back from his injury, so he should be fit for both of these games um, to, to come back into the starting 11. He obviously does have a fitness test, uh, so we probably won't play the full 90 minutes, but Brandon Lonsdale has obviously filled in um, in his place, and he's done okay. He did get a, game, a goal, in, uh, sorry, an assist in the uh, Farsi Celtic game, and he did obviously get a goal in the Works of Town game as well. Um, but yeah, he's doing okay. He's... Um, it does go missing a few times as well, so he's definitely someone that we'll probably keep till the end of the year, but then probably look to uh, look to move on from. But I think for a number of players, we do want to look to potentially start tying them down. Someone like Caleb Chekwomeka would be a, a great player to tie down for the future. Unfortunately, he has absolutely no interest in uh, renewing, renewing with us. If we were to go up, maybe even via the playoffs, maybe that would change, but he is someone that we would actively want to, to look to uh, renew. Another would be someone like a McCammon or a Kane Felix I think those would both be interested in renewal so we'll take a look at what kind of uh potential salary they'd want we uh, are currently paying Felix 300 pound a week I have a suspicion he'll want a fair bit more which he does he wants a promotion wage rise as well um, if we can get this down to about 350 I think that would definitely be a, a decent contract extension to do looks like he's going to expect a little bit too much um, but realistically I think 375 for an extension I'm happy with that you know what he's currently on 300 pounds so an extra 75 pound a week for a player who yeah, he's a little bit on the older side, but he does have a lot to offer. He has been really good. I think that's a good, that's a good extension. We can also go in for uh, Josh McCammon. He is currently on £350 a week, so we'll see what we can get from him. He is a little bit younger. So he would be another good one to uh, to tie down for the future. Unfortunately, he wants a really big increase. I think anything over four hundred pound would probably uh, probably be not really worth it. I think we could probably get better players for that kind of wage. So honestly, I'm gonna probably max out at 400 pound here he's really not gonna like it um but i just yeah i don't think he's worth yeah i don't think he's worth any more than 400 pounds unfortunately he's someone that we might miss out on it just depends obviously they may change their opinion as the season goes on someone like olamadi ibrahim would be another good one to tie down but he's probably uh too recent of a sign in to, to try and uh renew um other than that i think Maybe Connor Johnson would be another one, actually, but he is currently on sack £650 a week. That might be a case of just letting him go because he's uh, too expensive anyway to keep. So it might just be a case of letting him go. Uh, and George Robertson, we do actually have till next season. He's one of the few players contracted to pass the end of this year.
So our team that we're going to be playing in the uh, FA Trophy game is as follows. Actually, we're going to put Dan Mooney in for Nicholson because I do think he has uh, probably got a little bit more to offer. So we've got uh, pretty much the same team that you're expecting. Uh, Robertson in goal, a back four of Ahui, a Fox, Connor Johnson and D'Souza. A midfield two of Alvin Jones and Ibrahim. And then an attacking four of Felix, McCammon, Dan Mooney and Chuck Wameka. Uh, Lonsdale drops to the bench. Nicholson drops to the bench. Uh, and the rest of it is as you expect. As you can see there's a number of players we are trying to move on but currently not really any interest in those uh in those at the minute we did get an offer for matt crook uh from salford and uh stafford i believe it was um we rejected the salford one because it wasn't going to go through till january with them being a football league club um but unfortunately the board actually stepped in and did that annoying thing where they're desperate to get two grand for him which i think is ridiculous you know it's, it's two grand two grand on nothing he's on 500 pound a week you're only talking like a month's wage to, to make that up anyway so it would be better to just sell him we're not going to use him i think robertson's much better well probably not much better but he is definitely better um, so I don't really see a reason to, to keep him. But unfortunately, it looks like we have given away a penalty. It was Alban Jones that shoved the uh, Hemel Hempstead play at the ground. It does look like we might go behind in this game unless Robertson can be a hero. Unfortunately, he can't. Hemel Hempstead do convert the penalty. Uh, Terrell Whitaker there getting the goal, which does put them 1-0 up. And I was saying, obviously, a cup run would be good. I mean, finances are not too bad at this level. Um, sorry, finances at this level are usually pretty bad anyway, but for this club, they're not too bad because we're not really spending a lot on wages. Uh, we have obviously made an effort to to reduce the wage bill as well so we can stop um, you know, losing money every month as much as we were, but um, we get somewhat decent attendances. I think it's about five to 600 people come in, which yeah, it's, it's not great, but it's not terrible for this level. But uh, we really haven't got going in this game at all. And we haven't really made any changes, so I'm not sure what's going wrong so much, whether maybe Hemel Hempstead are just a good team. And unfortunately, they do get their second goal there. It's Harry Barbrook absolutely levers one from, uh, from the edge of the area. And it is 2-0. And this is looking a little bit suspect why we're not doing well. Obviously, Dan Mooney there is on a 6.3. Um, he is obviously catching up with fitness. Chuck Wameka is coming back from injuries. So that might be playing a part in it. But overall, this is really quite poor. So we'll, we'll definitely have a go at them. Uh, we obviously do have Nicholson and Lonsdale we can bring on um, if we feel the need. Nicholson would probably be the one to come on because Mooney is doing uh, quite poorly. But Hemel Hempstead are a decent side. They are up in the playoffs in National League South. So it's not really the, the biggest shock that we're not doing well. But I think the fact that we haven't even looked like scoring um, in terms of the highlights, obviously, in, in terms of stats, we've had a few uh, a few chances, but I don't know what's happening over here. But in terms of uh, the, the highlights, we haven't seen anything down the other side. It's all been towards our goal. Um, I do wonder how tall Robertson is because he doesn't look really. He doesn't look very tall in the engine. He does look a little bit taller than the other players, but not not massively bigger. So I do wonder how tall he is. But one does swing uh, get a free kick was swung to the back post, but Alvin Jones manages to put it out for a corner. So another set piece to defend. This time it's going to be Williams swinging it in for Hamill Hempstead. We do manage to just about get it clear. Well, not really. We didn't really get it clear, uh, but thankfully their header has gone over. Um, Looking with about, I think we need to make some changes. So Nicholson is going to come back on, uh, didn't and get his normal place back for Mooney. We'll we'll hopefully let the the front four cook as they usually do. Um, but we do need to get back into this. So I'm going to berate the players and hopefully give them a bit of a kick up the kick up the ass to 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 go and get us back into this game. But a number of players really not playing well. I mean, we've just offered Kane Felix a new deal, um, and he's already looking like he's just <laughs> going to sit on that and not really put the effort in now, which is a massive shame. But um, I don't think that's a real thing that ever happened in the game. Obviously, it can happen in real life. Um, but hopefully, it's not something in the game. But Caleb Chukwameka, on his return from injury, does score a really good goal. That was a good ball over the top. He's took it down, smacked it. It's, it came off the inside of the post. And Felix there, actually, with a really good ball to get the assist i feel like every time I'm, I'm slating felix on the commentary he goes and does something to 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 kind of get back at me and say you know no i am a good player i'm a good player um so he did really well there uh we don't really have anyone else we can bring on uh, we do have lonsdale actually and felix is getting a little bit tired so we'll bring lonsdale on the right hand side he hasn't been great but maybe we have been playing him more as a as a striker so maybe playing him out wide might be or his speed but unfortunately this highlight is down at the other end it is going to be Hemel Hempstead to whip in the corner Whitaker standing over the corner he does place it in uh, but it's headed straight back out to Whitaker and it falls to Williams who does convert his effort George Williams there does put it in the back of the net and unfortunately 
We do go another two goals behind again, uh, three one now, and it does look like we are going to be. Uh, well, I'm pretty certain we are going to be leaving the uh, FA Trophy in just the third round. So not really any cut runs to get excited about. And there's a confirmation. So a really disappointing loss. Our first uh, loss in the series since uh, since the opener against uh, in the FA Cup. So really, really uh, poor there. Um, but we are out of the FA Trophy, so no excuses now. We've got to focus on the league. And given how we're really not too far away from playoffs, how good the goal difference has been, and more importantly, how good the form's been in the league since we've took over, no excuses. We haven't done really great in the Cup, but hey, it doesn't matter too much. The FA Trophy, I mean, don't even know how much you get for winning it. 60 grand, I mean, that's decent to be fair. But yeah, in terms of you know prize money leading up to it the only real money is either getting into the final or winning the whole thing uh so we do get a grand whoopee uh, as you can see finances are not great at the club um but we are doing okay we are doing okay we are under budget we're, we're doing okay um but yeah we are going to be relying on probably some good league form to try and see us through this so um yeah, we really need to now focus on the league, but we've got no other disruptions now. We've got no cup disruptions, so we can focus entirely on the league. And we'll do that when we come back for the South Shields game. So we are back for the fixture away to South Shields in the league. And if you look at where South Shields are, I mean, they are very much in that uh, in and around the playoff um, uh, places. So 35 points there. I mean, a win here would, would close the gap to just two points with us and them. So a win here really is crucial, obviously, coming off the back of that disappointment in the cup where we, we really didn't play well um, I think it's time to go back to what has been working and let's not change it uh, we do currently have a bid for Ryan Fry he's got a couple clubs in uh, for him he's really not playing he's on 350 pound a week it just seems a lot for a player that isn't playing um, if Fox or Johnson were to ever get suspended or injured we would be relying on Andre Aguia to fill in um, he is six foot one so he definitely can play center back and he's definitely got that in his wheelhouse he is more of a, a ball winning midfielder but he is pretty comfortable at center back his his heading is is quite poor and so is his jumping reach so he very much just be kind of a lamppost just at the back stuck in there but um, we are really struggling to get any offers for for anyone else Michael Gash and, and Cuba Mayer and Crook really are the, uh, the other players that we're trying to get rid of Sydney Pereira obviously he is out on loan at Chichester. Uh, sorry, not Chichester. I don't even know who that is. Siren, Siren Kester Town? No idea. Um, but he's barely playing, and when he has played, he's been absolutely dreadful. So he's definitely uh, done at this level. He's definitely never making it as a player, unfortunately for him. Um, but very much the same team as last time. The only swap we're going to make is Nicholson is going to come in for Mooney because he did have a particularly poor game. And we have been playing well with this team, so realistically, we don't really want to change it if it's uh, not you know if it's not broken don't fix it and it's really not broken because we have been really really good in the league um south shields are a decent opposition they've got a number of good players that i'm aware of dylan stevenson formerly a newcastle youngster i know of blackett scored plenty in the league um and broadbent obviously another good player there as well so i am aware a couple of these south shields players are quite good they are a team that are expected to finish top of the league so we're really going to see what we're made of here i mean if we can get a good result here um and, and get the three points that really shows where we are um, in terms of the league as well because these are expected to finish top so if we can get a win here it really does show us i think where we uh where we really should be um but in terms of i mean the competition in this league it is a decent league this year obviously a number of good teams in there like tamworth boston um south shields scunthorpe as well let's not forget scunthorpe are down in this division so it is really quite a strong uh league this year so if we can get in the playoffs, you know, it wouldn't necessarily fancy us to, to go up through them, but it would be a good sign that we are um, progressing as a club since we've took over as manager because realistically, I don't think Peterborough Sports should be getting anywhere near the playoffs, but we are obviously making some good additions to the squad and working, improving on the players that we have got. But unfortunately, another penalty we've given away there, which becoming a little bit of a trend because we did it in the, in the Hempstead game as well. And again, Robertson totally sent the wrong side and Blackett does get his goal to put South Shields 1-0 up. So I was kind of bragging, thinking we were doing really well, but it seems like the form might be starting to dip a little bit. We have been in really good form. Uh, obviously, we haven't lost in the league since we've took over, but McCannon does go through, but I did see the yeah the linesman there did have his flag up on the right-hand side, and unfortunately, it's not going to count. It was a really good ball in, really good running behind as well from the young man, but well, I say young, he's 24. I guess that's not too young, but, <laughs> uh, but he has unfortunately been uh, ruled offside there, but... 
Yeah, we have been, I guess, a little bit poor this episode. We we really didn't turn up for the cup game. We haven't really turned up for this game either. Now, granted, these are both good sides, so it is to be expected we'd be would be hit. We would have a tougher game, but I mean, like that that's the kind of goal. That's the kind of chance where when we were playing a worse team, we're just putting that in or at least getting it on target. But Nicholson there. Really looking poor. Um, it could be another one where we probably sub him off at halftime because obviously Mooney was doing so poorly in the trophy game, but uh, we, we brought Nicholson back on, but it really didn't make too much of a difference anyway. Um, it could just be a case that we're one of those teams that when we play sort of teams in and around the, the bottom half of the table, oh, are you serious? Black is just absolutely levered at top bins. Should Robertson be getting to that? I don't know. It was a really good strike. It was a little bit far out, though. You'd like to think he would get across to it and at least get something on it. But unfortunately, he doesn't. It is 2-0 Shields. And uh, again, we're just looking poor. It might we just, might be one of those teams where we're good enough to, to you know beat the, the poorer teams in the league and, and really beat them as well. But when we come up against anyone kind of at the top end of the table, anyone decent, uh, we do seem to struggle. So we'll bring Mooney on on the left-hand side for Nicholson. He isn't really playing well. And I do think I do have faith in Mooney to, to come on and, and do the business for us. But if we get back in this game, get a draw, I think that would be good. Maybe I've been a little bit too overzealous saying that we should be uh, should be going for playoffs. And we do have... An injury there to Olamadi uh, Ibrahim, and uh, that could be a bad one because he is one of our better players. We'll bring Aguirre on. He's not really a, a, a playmaker, so we'll swap him over there with Alden Jones, and he'll have to just fill in as a, as a playmaker. He's not really a playmaker either. He's very much of the of the same mould, a ball winning midfielder, but he could definitely do the role a little bit better than Aguirre, uh, who is very much just a big unit at six foot one there. But he does pick the ball up and, and plays it into McCammon, who plays it back to Aguirre, who plays it to Ahui, and unfortunately his effort does hit the crossbar and goes out for a goal kick. But we looked a little bit better there. He did He did actually do a little bit of the build-up there as well, uh, Aguirre, as we do play the ball across. And Dan Mooney does get on the end of it, and he is on side. And Dan Mooney off the bench does get us a little bit further back in the game there. As I really wasn't expecting it because the highlights are usually a little bit longer when you get a goal. But uh, Felix, yeah, he's, he's played another good ball in there, played it across the goal, and Dan Mooney there has picked up uh, the loose ball and just got on the end of it. It was a really good ball in from Felix. Felix just playing it across the goal, hoping someone would get on the end of it. And Mooney has done there. Um, but we do have a throw in in our own half, which we've really poorly just kind of given away um, as, as Shields look to restore their two goal lead. And they might do just that. And they have done just that. They haven't done just that because the linesman does have his flag up. Blackett thought he was running away with his hat rick there. But thankfully, he has been denied by the linesman. McCammon and Chuck Wilmecker are having really poor games. Um, I don't really want to take Chuck Wilmecker off just because he has been doing really well. Um, he, sorry, he is just coming back from injury. And he, he is generally really good. But he's having a really poor game. I don't really want to shove him out wide either. Not sure what to do here um, in terms of personnel. Because we do have Lonsdale, but he hasn't been particularly good. Felix has been good, but he is getting a little bit tired. I think we'll bring Lonsdale on on the right-hand side and hope that Chucklemecker can just get that one chance to, to, to get the equaliser. Obviously, we don't need him to have a great game as long as he scores, then... At this level, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's that kind of thing in football where a striker can have the worst game ever, but as if they get on the end of it and get a goal, lay on to grab an equaliser, everyone's uh, everyone's none the wiser, and they're all happy that we've just managed to get a point. Um, but Kane Felix does go off there for Lonsdale. We do have 10 minutes left. I'm just going to berate the players one last time, try and just give them that little... Um, that little boost, but actually they've all kind of switched off of that. So that just shows you how poor that's been. Agui has actually been decent since he's come on, so maybe not too bad if we do uh, end up without him. I don't think we can make any more subs. Yeah, we are out of subs. So with not long to go, we are just going to wick it, whack it on very attacking. I don't think it's going to make a difference, though. Um, you never know. We might get a corner, and Robertson could be a hero coming up for it. But unfortunately, we don't get that corner. We don't get any of the highlights. We don't get any of the chances. In the end, I think it was quite an even game. But, yeah, I think we just went behind too early. And uh, unfortunately, we've been beaten there. So our run in the league, um, so two back-to-back -back defeats, is really not what we, want to, what we want to see because we have been on such a good run. And there's me thinking we've turned the corner and we don't need to sign anyone. Uh, maybe we do. We are now eight points away from the playoffs. Uh, obviously, if we finish mid-table, I think that is still a good season for us. Um, Ibrahim's going to be out for five to six weeks, which is quite a while. Uh, we are really going to miss him. So he might that might be an area where we, we do have to go out and try and find someone. 
um, to fill in. But yeah, the number of players available obviously is going down as the season goes on. Teams are signing other players. So we are a little bit light uh, in the midfield. So Aguirre will play there and we'll just swap those around for, for the time being. But um, yeah, we are a little bit light there. Um, so in terms of who we'll bring on, I do think we'll start Mooney from now on. He does look like someone who's going to be quite a decent player. He's got a goal and assist in, three, in the three games he's played, I think. Uh, two games he's played, sorry, a goal and an assist in the league. Uh, it was the cup game where he didn't do very well. So we'll give Mooney another go. Um, I think we'll we'll probably come back. Um, I'm not sure because the, the January transfer window obviously doesn't matter too much in terms of um, the National League or the National League North. So I think we'll come back for the Alfreton and Scunthorpe game. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll obviously come back at the end of the transfer window and see if anything did happen. I don't think there'll be too much business done, but we'll, uh, we'll play through a, a handful of National League North games, try and re uh, regain some of this good form that we've been having and uh, hopefully get ourselves closer to the playoffs when the, the, the next time you come back. But That'll be the next episode, Alfreton and Scunthorpe both at home. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, North to Prem, and I'll see you all for the next episode very soon.